Ready to do an example? Determine the number of ways of placing two balls in three containers for each of the following. Boltzmann, Fermi Dirac, and Bose-Einstein statistics. <clears throat> okay, so how, what is my N? And uh, what is my M? Two, three, three. My M is? Three. And my N is? Two, Do I have equations? I just gave you those equations, right? No chance. So how will I do for Boltzmann statistics? What's the formula? Red, right? It was in red. So it was gamma three, m to the power n, which means three to the power two, which means so that means Nine different ways of doing this. And remember, for Boltzmann statistics, the balls are distinguishable. Very important to recognize. Number two, Fermi Dirac. We did that in purple, right? Fermi Dirac was purple, no, blue. Fermi Dirac. What was the formula? Plus n minus one factorial over n factorial times the quantity of n minus one factorial. Great. So m is three, n is two, three minus two. Oh, yeah. Sorry, three, two, two, one, the answer is? And remember, for Fermi Dirac, the balls are indistinguishable. But you cannot distinguish between the two balls. Those are going to be important when we start filling them in. Okay, last one Bose Einstein. What color was Bose Einstein? Pink, pink right? Is it pink? Yeah. So number four, oh no, number three. Number three, Bose-Einstein. Gamma five was what? N plus M minus one factorial divided by N factorial M minus one factorial. Okay, uh, N, M, what, what will it be? Uh, two plus three minus one. Two, three minus one. That is what, five? No, three, four, five, four factorial over two factorial over two factorial. That's four, three, two, divided by two times two. Two goes away. Two goes away, the answer is six. And remember, this is also indistinguishable. How many ways to fill those three boxes? Nine. How many ways to fill for Fermi Dirac? And how many to fill for Charles Einstein? Okay, try doing them. The way I was doing them is I was keeping one empty and one filled. So like this. So for the first one, which was the Boltzmann, these particles are distinguishable, right? So there's one, one, one. Then you can fill this one and this one, and then this one and this one, and this one and this one, this one and the last one. And there's nine possibilities, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ways that these boxes can be filled. There's no limit on how many per box, per box. And they're equally probable. So the microstates are equally probable. The second one is the Fermi Dirac. 
they are Fermi Dirac has a limit of one per container. So you cannot have two in a container. So they must be separated, but they are indistinguishable. So you don't have to make them whole and fill. And the last one was which one? Bose Einstein. They have no limits on the number that can be in each container and they are indistinguishable from one another. Which means they can all be in this. The only thing, the difference between this one and this one is the fact that these can be put in different places. Here, 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 here. Which doesn't exist for them. Like for example, in these three, what happens if I switch these two with each other? Would not matter. That's why there's less. Good? 